Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. This is something of an absolute status symbol. Well, number one, it's the Mercedes X-Class, it's their off-road pickup, and number two, many of us from a status symbol point of view are very familiar with the Mercedes G-Wagons, and now, obviously, we've got the X-Class pickup, and to really make it stand out and pop out in the crowd, especially in the really congested world of cars out there, we have actually modified this as a business and we fairly regularly uh, have started to do this and I will tell you everything you need to know about this, why perhaps you should buy it and above all why they hold money extremely well, especially with the kind of subtle modification that we have done. Might not be so subtle until I tell you a little bit more about it. Before we can get into this review, don't forget to press that subscribe button. It gives us a thumbs up. By watching this video, as a matter of fact, you're helping towards a good cause. That is all of our earnings from our two YouTube channels. Uh, we earn circa 200 pounds from the two channels. They get donated to charity. So thank you for watching in the first place. Let's get right into this. Well, what have we got here with us? The Mercedes X-Class in itself came in and took off with an absolute storm in the pickup world, especially uh, as a car that we can normally use for work from a daily point of view. But at the same time, it's, it's, a brilliant, it's a brilliant car to own, especially when you would like to have it as part of your business and offload some taxes. Well, what have we done in this instance here? Well, you can already aesthetically see that this is a very unique example of the X-Class. It is already different. And you probably wonder, what is it that's so different? So firstly, we've got the AMG GT grille here. This is all in black, so it looks stunning from the get-go. You've got this bonnet bar there at the top, and you've got the bull bar running at the bottom. So this in itself gives it a very aggressive, macho-like look. Now, to the side, you've got the wheel arch extension. You've got these really chunky off-road tires, which look aggressive, which look great, especially if you are uh, going to also be using it off-road or on a construction site. And you've got the 20-inch AX alloy wheels, which in itself is superb. You've got these wind deflector sort of things here on the side of the windows, brilliant. Again, when you don't want a lot of wind coming into the car, the rear windows, as a matter of fact, they're actually privacy glass. We've actually, um, uh, we've actually, uh, yeah, <laughs> wrapped them in, in, in a very thin film, uh, so they're cool tinted. And then you've got this also on the doors to give it a bit of an uplift at the same time. You've also got the wheel arch extensions on the rear wheels, the axe, um, 20 inch wheels, the tires. You've got the bonnet, store, the, the, the bonnet storage at the back as well, which you can lock to keep all your tools secure and, 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 and well and safe here at the back. The badge, the Mercedes badge on the rear has also been de-chromed by the little subtle changes that you see here. The, I mean, the looks aesthetically has been completely enhanced. And this is not just from, you know, what you can see on the front, but also on the rear, the fact it's been risen up a little bit. And in no way, form or shape has it lost it's true, it's true characteristics of what it's like to drive because it also drives absolutely phenomenal. I mean, many of us are nowadays familiar with the term monster truck. This does give you that, but at the same time, you know, we haven't really lifted it up to be ridiculously high or messed about with the suspension in any way, form or shape. Just little subtle changes and it still holds true to the driving characteristics of what it's like to drive. We're going to go into it to explain a little bit more of what it's like in terms of a spec on the inside. And just touching the door handle, that has been de-chromed from the silver that you have to black. On the inside, it is also absolutely jam-packed with spec. From a spec point of view, this has got the merino leather interior. You've got the multifunctional steering wheel. 
It has, this is the X250 with a 2.3 litre engine, which has got the 7G Tronic gearbox, the seven speed gearbox. So it drives fantastically well. It pulls extremely well. Essentially through the 7G Tronic gearbox, we're gonna get into that performance part in a minute. It sends 190 brake horsepower uh, through to the wheels and essentially produces about 450 Newton meters of torque. We're gonna lift the bonnet lid up a little bit and tell you a little bit more of the performance out of it in a minute. Let's just concentrate on the softer spec items. Additionally, you've got this 360 camera, uh, you've got your sort of lane assist items, you've also got the must have uh, you know, the high LED uh, performance lights, which are brilliant to see, lumbar support, the front seats are heated. So you've got all the buttons here and the seats are completely electrically adjustable in terms of about uh, 12 or 14 point adjustability. The side door mirrors are also um, folding. So they're electrically opening and electrically folding. And if you come to the back, at the back, if you've got kids and if you need to be utilizing the space at the back, you've got your three seat layout here as well with uh, isofix points. Let's open the bonnet and tell you a little bit more about what, what, what you'll find under the bonnet. Now, under the bonnet, you've got the 2.3 litre engine here. This is a big heavy bonnet. And you've got this phenomenal, beautiful engine, the 2.3 litre inline four cylinder direct fuel injection engine in here which is also turbocharged with intercoolers performance wise bhp wise it's 190 brake horsepower that is sent through to the wheel through the 7g tronic um, gearbox which also i and the engine also produces 450 newton meters of torque this isn't a performance car so don't expect stupid not to 60 miles and uh, not to 62 miles per hour but uh you know, if you need to know, it does it in 11.8 seconds and the top speed is approximately 110 miles per hour. Let's get behind the wheel, drive it and tell you a little bit more about what it's like to drive. So we got Mr. Ladi, let's get into it. Let's drive right, this monster. From the get go, it's actually a bit of an adventure getting into this and the key doesn't need to be plugged in anywhere because this is the keyless. Oh, so God. essentially we can leave the key alone the road leading up to our business or leading away from our business is actually a proper off-road track. And this is in some ways a good test and a good measure of what it's like to drive something like this on a rather rough road. Sitting up as high as we sit in this X-Class, you actually don't feel uh, much of this bad road that we're traveling on. So essentially comfortable and you know we're cruising through it at a pretty good speed. So already a bit of an adventure, you know, sitting up so higher, you know, off the road, thanks to the 20 inch alloys, the chunky off-road tires. Next to 50 with the 2.3 liter engine in there. It is, it is talky and it pulls well, especially at traffic lights and, you know, the low end speed. It is very, very progressive and feels great to pull off. Just out of that junction that we came by, we were already doing, we were already traveling at about 35 miles per hour. And that was a pretty good test of knowing what it's like to take off in something like this. Now being on this road, as the suspension has not been modified or changed about in, you don't, get any sort of uneven sway and movement or uncomfortable moments uh, in the suspension. It's actually pretty firm, drives exactly as it would if it wasn't modified. So essentially it doesn't lose its true characteristic of what it's mean to feel like. You know, it's got the looks, it's beautiful. It's the ultimate status symbol item. It's a Mercedes X-Class. It's been modified very tastefully very well done this is credit to the guys at our modification shop and uh, you know i've been sending them images and sending them some clips of us recording this whole process so this is not the first one we have done it's probably the fourth or the fifth one and we've got a few others that are currently in the process of being modified 
and since it's been advertised last week Saturday we've had a lot of interest but unfortunately it's not sold yet simply due to the fact that the finance application unfortunately for those customers didn't really work out so if you are interested and you're wanting to buy something like this this is absolutely perfect it is ready to go and uh, I'm sure a anyone out there that is looking to buy um, I guess the, the the ultimate X class here it is now lastly let's talk about future resale values the X class pickup trucks just in general hold their values extremely well just because of the shortage of availability of brand new ones but at the same time they're built extremely well um, and as long as you stay on top, top of the servicing there isn't hardly anything that really goes wrong in, in these cars but at the same time something that's that's got the kit that this has it essentially holds value because it has provident of provenance uh, over the simpler box standard X classes which maybe to a lot of us are not aesthetically pleasing in the way this is and essentially um, this has had you know blood sweat a bit of love and a bit of passion put into it to make it look the way it does and essentially there will always be a market for something like this this goes without saying now we'll just pull up here and let Mr. Lardy drive this as the whole point of inviting him down onto this test drive is to also give him an opportunity to drive the X-Class. So he will be behind the camera and sharing a bit of his experience of what it's like to drive. So you currently drive a Range Rover Vogue uh, yeah. 2015 plate, the facelift Range Rover Vogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's essentially thinking about going away from the Range Rover Vogue, it's a 15 plate Vogue he's got, because he's absolutely mesmerized by how this looks and uh, essentially, you know, he's in a position to be able to make that change. How, is it different from your Range Rover? Is it more better from the Range Rover? Yeah. Nice. Hmm? Why? Why this? Why the X Class? I mean, is... why are you thinking about all of a sudden you saw it and you you wanting this? What? I li I like it's a, it's a more it's a more better to drive that one. Sure. The Mercedes. Sure. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And you're also wanting something like this because of your work? Yeah, yeah. And, and for the works, it's, it's a very, very good family car and a very good driver. Uh -huh. And what do you do for work at the moment? The building. Okay, you're in the, in, in the building sector, okay. Building, yeah. 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 This is very synonymous. Many of our customers that buy this are in the building trade. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Additionally, you know, the interior spec on this, you've got all the stuff, all the luxury items that you'd normally find in, let's just say, a Mercedes E-Class S or a C-Class, especially the later Mercedes X-Classes, well, the, the later Mercedes. Uh, so it's all got, it has all of that integrated technology, like the navigation system your multimedia, the DAB radio, phenomenal telephone connectivity for your music, telephone call, the voice command. It essentially has, you know, all the comforts that you would expect. Um, you've obviously got the two diff locks that you can do on this um, in terms of, you know, putting into the various um, diffs. So you've got the two wheel drive, the four wheel drive, and the 4L and essentially it's the differentials can be locked into suit the preference you want and then it's got a couple of other uh, off-road buttons there as well. Mercedes have done really well to integrate all the luxury items that you find in the really high-end um, CE classes, S classes, uh, essentially into a, you know a practical pickup truck and, uh, and something like a pickup truck is also a brilliant tool for your family because of the amount of space that you get in the in the rear storage area. The, the rear storage area actually opened up as as we pulled away to drive at some point and that was because I hadn't actually locked it properly. Um, but it's safe, secure, 
you know, to put tools and, you know, to put your essential items um, or to actually put, you know, things for your kids in there at the back. So you've driven here a little bit, Mr. Lardy. Tell us, what is it like? What, what do you think? What do you feel so far? This is a very, very good car to drive. The Mercedes is, is the best. Mm -hmm. From what I understand, you also drive a lot back home to Albania. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are the roads like in Albania? Are the roads good? No, not good, not that good. It's, the roads is for this car. <laughs> okay. This car is perfect the, for those roads. Per, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect for well, yeah. And you also get very good miles per gallon. Combined MPG is about 36 miles per gallon. So Mr. Lardy currently has his Range Rover. We've given him a Partex evaluation um, and essentially he's paid a lot of money for his Range Rover and he's going to try to sell that elsewhere and essentially um, or we might help him to sell the Range Rover uh, so that he doesn't lose much in terms of what he's paid for the Range Rover um, to then actually get into the ownership of the X-Class. So the whole, the whole plan is that he suffers a minimal loss on his BX, which is where we're going to help him sell it on a sale or return and then get into this X-Class. And if it all works out, the Range Rover is sold, he'll be buying this. But if in the meantime, somebody else is interested, you know, this is available. You're, you're welcome to contact us, ask us any questions you may have, and uh, we'd be happy to answer them. And it's essentially ready to go and be enjoyed by the new owner. So we thank you for staying with us during this test drive to essentially talk to you a little bit about this car, you know, what, what it's been like um, and hopefully give you a little bit more of an, a know-how on potentially all the tick boxes um, or all the boxes this X-Class ticks. So to recap, well spec drives well, phenomenally well customized and uh, I think whoever decides to buy it they will be extremely extremely happy with and they've always got our support should they have any issues or should they have any questions um, down the line in the future <laughs>